It is time for a new project. We're gonna build some slightly thinner A-arms for my sled. And we have some steel. And I'm not sure how this is going to go because I've never built suspension before, but that is essentially like four inches or five inches too wide per side. So we're going to make it smaller. First though, geez, we need to clean this up. There we go. That's a lot better. Time to get down to business. All right. So shortening the A-arms on a Skidoo. This is a Rev XP 154. It's a Summit XRS 800, Rotax 800R. Um, P-Tech 2010, other information. Um, so that's about it. But the front suspension is all pretty standard. So this sled originally sat at 42 and we're trying to take it down to 37. That is the distance from the center line of the machine out to the pivot of the knuckle. So we just do that. So 42 to 37, five inches total, two and a half inches per side. So what we've done is over here, we have, well, move some things around. Doing these one at a time. So we're doing the upper arms first. Laying them out on a table. First marking which one is which. Laying them out on a table. This is the right one, this is the left one. And making like getting the points that count. So we want this to be square here. And then we want to know this I happen to know is 11 degrees offset. So 11 degrees. And then so marking that down. And then what I did is I took, I figured, the, I figured out where I wanted to take the two and a half inches from. It's right there. And then made those marks. And then on this one, cut it out. So now there's two and a half inches missing, which is going to bring this down to that long. Now you can see where the, the issue arises here. That's that this no longer lines up, right? We have to make this wider. So the next step is you want to put this where, you get, where it's going to be in the final process. So that sits there and that lines up. And then make marks so that when you spread these bars out, this stays in the same place. Now, we're gonna come in and we're going to pie cut here and here in order to go like that. All right, so after you just, all you have to do is a slice, just a little slice. Um, and then I like to thread this to go, you know, big long bolt through, and that gives you a working, like a leverage point. And then you can spread them out as wide as they go, and then compress them back in until they are the same width as they started out to be. And there we have two newly shortened A-arms. They're not perfect. They're very close though, and they will work fine for me. On to the lowers. All right, so for the lower A-arms, the process is a little more complex. Because we're gonna be cutting out a section from each arm, we need to find a way to affix these two points together so that when we cut them off, they stay the same. Think about that, right? If we cut them, it would be very hard to get them to go, like, make sure we get them back in a way that fits on the sled. So the first thing we're going to do for these on each one is we're gonna come out three inches and then we're gonna put a tube across there that will brace. All right, so we've got two of these cross pieces. They're gonna fit right up in there. And I have them generally to size, but we're gonna 
put these A-arms back onto the sled and then weld them with them on the sled. So just to make sure that we don't get any sizing issues. All right, so just temporarily put the A-arm back in, ran a couple bolts through, and now just set this in place and then tack it, pull it off, finish weld it, do the other side. All right, after you got those tacked up, go ahead and finish weld them. And then we're gonna move on to making the cuts. So similar to the upper A arms, only sort of backwards, I've made an outline of this one on the table that I also cut off the sway bar mounts um, on both of them because those won't be included in this final product. Um, this lines up in such a fashion like that. Nope, not like that. I lied. Like that. Now, I also sort of guess the middle on here and the middle here, which sort of creates a line from this hub through like that. Pretty much a straight line. And what I want to, what, what I did that for is so that when I shorten this up, I can make sure that the knuckle assembly, the geometry is the same. It'll be on this line from the middle of here to the middle at any point between these two bars it's right in the middle. so <clears throat> that is the next step all right there is one complete lower arm when you set it up on here just somewhat difficult to do one-handed see how that line ends up right in the middle of that joint well executed right there. Again, same as before, we're gonna set up the whole suspension in its tack welded state. Um, just to make sure that, you know, everything fits. And that way, you know, we know that, then we can take it all off again and weld everything up. Leave that second one and then we'll get to that part. And there we have two completed lower A-arms. Um, tack welded, of course. I did just fit one of them on the sled, and they're, they're almost exactly like these are better than the uppers, honestly. I did a good job on these, so um, I know the site, like the, I know the right side is going to fit, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish weld them. And then from there, we're going to clean them up, prep them for painting, and then also tackle the tie rod for the steering which has to also be shrunk two and a half inches and there we have our completed a-arm set doing a quick bang up paint job on them nothing fancy just two sides just some rust-oleum I'm not concerned uh, hit them with a grinder beforehand or with a big buffing wheel to get them clean and so we'll do this side, then we'll flip them over to the other side. And then other than that, the last thing we have to do is figure out the tie rods. All right, well, I caught a really sweet break with the tie rods. Um, turns out I have the right size tap. So pretty much what I did is I took the tie rod off one end of screws like a standard thread and one, one end screws a reverse thread. I cut the, I cut two and a half inches off the end that screws standard thread and I'm just gonna re-tab it and then grind some little spots so you can turn it with a wrench to uh, just to adjust it, but it'll essentially look the same as it did before. I just chopped off two and a half inches. Do that on both sides. All right, and there it is, finished product. Paint's still a little wet, but I just threw them on. Tacky would be a better word, but threw them on there. Got the alignment set up. And I'm gonna show you guys in a minute how much easier this sled is to rock back and forth. Um, you can kind of see what's happening. But, yep. So, let's get this guy stood up. We can. A little demonstration. 
All right, so before I was not able with consistency. I could do it, but it was like once every several tries, I would be able to actually rock the sled up onto its side, just like even here. So it was, it, it wouldn't, it wasn't working. But now it's that easy. set up for it all the way over so I'm holding up the sled now I'm not even on it right balancing and the other way like that. so that was the goal that's what we were going for 